So Michael, we've got our very own mechanised conveyor catwalk, but what are the movers and the shakers? Well, first of all, we've got some begonias to show you. The traditional bedding begonia. Yes, yeah, so this is a begonia semiflorans, it's organdy, but the blooms never fully open and it's quite stunted and not that weatherproof. Right. Now look at this but big This head. is begonia lotto. Much bigger, more landscape style growth, big clear flowers, leaves like water lily pads, and perfect for any weather. So we've got an annual anterinum, a plant that dies down to ground every year. Absolutely, so traditional snapdragons, lovely, pretty, but don't flower for long. Good alternative is the perennial hardy pen stemmons, right. flowering for five to six months and really, really tough and resilient in the garden. Coleus, I mean, a plant that many of us has grown as children and as we've got older. A traditional foliage plant in Victorian times, but now we have perilla, which is very similar, nice colours, but also edible, good for stir fries or salads. OK. Ah, oh, now, Alstroemeria. Ah, these are some new kids on the block. This is Alstroemeria Indian Summer, also known as Peruvian Lily. Flowers for five to six months and lovely bronze foliage. Oh, and gerberas. Gerberas, this is very exciting. Brand new breeding, these are hardy down to minus 10. They'll come back every year with these lovely, big, florist quality flowers. Right. So a revival is really taking place. Absolutely. Bedding is changing. Your choices are much wider than they used to be. This is how we can bring British bedding back to life with new varieties that are more sustainable and easy to look after and find more cost-effective ways of planting. It's time to move on, try some new favourites and revitalise your beds.